But how can you capture what happened the last three days? It's been a wonderful three days. The Responsibility 2015 Armenian Genocide Centennial Conference was filled with very interesting speakers from around the world who spoke not only about the Armenian Genocide, but put the Armenian case in the context of global um, genocides and other political violence conflicts. And we've had such a range of talented speakers, ranging from the history of Armenian Genocide scholarship with Richard Hovanesian, to discussions on the uh, genocide education in schools. This morning I was moderating a panel on gender and genocide, talking about that. And currently, right now, we have standing room only in our closing panel, which is about art and expression, where we have Eric Bogosian speaking, Chris Bojarian, Scout to Sanctum, and we have Alexander Dinelara speaking. I don't know if you know his name. He won an Oscar award this season for his screenplay of Birdman. And a few years ago, he wrote a screenplay about the Armenian Genocide. So he is one of the featured speakers on our closing panel. And again, it's standing room only. People are in a good mood. Uh, Kim, just before you got on the air, we were discussing 100 Lives, and we were comparing the publicity that event got compared to the publicity responsibility 2015 may be getting. How can you compare the two, and what kind of international recognition publicity will responsibility 2015 be getting? We're hopeful that we're going to be getting good media coverage. In fact, just this morning, we had PBS Channel 13 here, and we have a team of people who are constantly blogging about the conference on social media and Internet. We will be posting every single one of our talks online next week, and uh, we're pretty hopeful we'll get good coverage out of this. It was certainly a great blessing to have Jeffrey Robertson speak, somebody of his stature, and he was wonderful, wasn't he? Absolutely. And tell me more about Robert Fisk. I'd like to know what happened there. I don't know if you had heard that Robert Fisk was unable to speak oh. at the very last minute because oh. of unforeseen circumstances in his life. We had a wonderful save from that luncheon where we had an author's luncheon. And at the author's luncheon, we had Jeffrey Robertson speaking again with Richard Hovanesian, Nancy Krikorian, Matt Karanian, and others who were also on... Uh, they signed their book there at the luncheon. It was very intimate, and they got to interact with the audience, and it was very well received. Kim, there may be uh, many people who would comment saying, uh, we are preaching to the choir, what happened, Responsibility 2015. What would your response be? This is a very different centennial conference. This is a conference which really places us in the context of other global issues. Most of our panelists, in fact, were not Armenian. We have many of our panelists from very prestigious universities around the world who are conducting rigorous research in their fields. They were impressed with us, and I have a feeling there will be a ripple effect back into academia and back into policy circles from this conference. Uh, Kim, also many people would say, what's after 2015? What would your response be? Well, we all have a lot of work to do on that, don't we? I think that uh, we are moving towards the discussion of issues of justice, transnational justice, reparations, moving beyond the conversations of recognition, but understanding that recognition is part and parcel of that uh, spectrum of, of acts, of demands. And um, I think people are doubt. Hi, this is Rafi Krikorian. I have a question for you. Um, during the Friday um Statements were made about new angles from a legal point of view that may be able to, we may be able to use for reparation. What, uh, what can you tell our audience about that? Well, it was very interesting that Jeffrey Robertson made the suggestion that the Republic of Armenia considers suing the Republic of Turkey and build a case for uh, land reparations, and he started to mention some of the legal background that would be necessary for that. He thought, in the least, and this is heartwarming to hear, that the uh, the claims for Mount Ararat, the symbol of Armenia, should be uh, that Mount, the claims for land, including Mount Ararat, should mm -hmm. be part of that strategy. Mm -hmm. He did not get into details. Uh, he's written quite a bit about that in his book, and I would encourage your audience members to get Jeffrey Robertson's book um, because it's um, it's very well researched and very well written. 
uh, 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 Kim, is there anything in uh, closing that we might have left out you would like to stress or is important for listeners? I would like listen- to give a shout out to the sponsors for this conference. As you know, Please do. it was held in the Marriott Marquis. It was a big event. And uh, the luncheon yesterday was sponsored by uh, Vahen Hasni Gombalakyan. And uh, last night's reception that we had was sponsored by the Armenian Genocide Centennial Committee of the Eastern Region. We really would like to thank them for their help. And in addition, we had support from the Armenian Bar Association, the Armenian Review, Nasser, the Armenian Cultural Committee of Greater Detroit, Haraj Kapriyelian, and the Hamaskayan Education and Cultural Association. In addition to that, we had a large list of individual donors, and I would like to thank them on behalf of the committee, every one of them, for the support they lent us for this weekend. Kim, give us an idea of the amount of work that went into uh, preparing this conference. Well, you know, part of the job of the conference is just to devise the kinds of panels that people are interested in that bring new and relevant and novel information to the table. And I really thank the committee and my committee members for um, for just being so creative and bringing a very wide array of topics to the public. That took some time. And then, of course, all of your audience knows, anybody who's worked on an event, putting together the actual logistics and details of the event, that's where so many hours go into, in addition to drumming up support from our donor community. We're thankful to them all. You know, we appreciate the work that went into it. We appreciate you calling us and uh, highlighting the uh, highlights of the conference. And uh, we'd like to thank you very much and wish you luck in all the future undertakings of the Armenian IARF or whatever organizations that works towards the Armenian Genocide Centennial. Thank you very much, Kim. Thank you so much. Have a good day. You too.